In this video, let's calculate a one sample Z test. A potato chip company claims the weight of their small package of potato chips is 1.6 ounces. The population weight of these potato chip packages is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 0.1 ounces. Let's suppose a random sample of four bags has a sample mean of 1.54 ounces. Is there evidence the package weight is less than 1.6 ounces? Let's start by talking about what parameter we're using. Well, first of all, we are concerned about the population mean, mu. We have a claimed amount of 1.6 ounces. So that means mu naught is equal to 1.6 ounces. So our null and alternative hypotheses are H naught mu is equal to 1.6 ounces. And the alternative will reflect our question of interest. Here we want to know if there's evidence the package weight is less than 1.6 ounces. So that means mu is less than 1.6 ounces. Our claim. So the next step is to quickly check conditions. Do we have a random sample? And the answer is yes. It says from a random sample of four bags, so we have that, we have then a sample mean and so on. Do we know if the population is normally distributed? Because we have such a small sample size, we do. It says that the population weight of potato chip packages is normal, so we have that. And do we know our population standard deviation? Do we know sigma? And we do, it's been given to us as 0.1 ounces. So we have that condition met too. So now we can calculate our Z test statistic. So Z is equal to our sample mean of 1.54 minus a, our claim 1.6 divided by the population standard deviation of 0.1 over the square root of our sample size of four. This is equal to a numerator value of negative 0.06 all divided by a denominator of 0.05, which is equal to a total z-score of negative 1.20. So now what? Well, once we calculate our z-test statistic, recall we're not done. This is just the vehicle to get to the p-value. Well, our p-value is going to be one-sided. It's going to be a lower one-sided because we're asking whether or not the mean is actually less than 1.6 ounces. So we are going to look for the area that falls below our test statistic from the standard normal distribution. So we want to find the area that falls below negative 1.20. To do this, we can go over to the standard normal table and look up negative 1.2. And since it's zero for the hundredths place, it's going to be the first p-value right here, or first proportion or area under the curve, which is 0.11507. So here, our p-value is 0 0.11507. That's the area that falls below or is more extreme than our test statistic. So what does this mean? This means that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. There's just no evidence in favor of our alternative. The reason being is that our p-value is quite large. That means that there is a 11.5% chance that we just happen to randomly obtain this sample mean given the null hypothesis is true. That's too big of a, of a probability or a chance for us to say we should reject the null. It's also because our significance level is equal to 0.01 our p-value is greater than alpha, so we're going to fail to reject 